Welcome to DRD Technology. As an ANSYS channel partner, we provide simulation capabilities in the areas of fluid dynamics, structural mechanics, electromagnetics, and systems and multiphysics. DRD seldom supports ANSYS software in the central United States. We also provide consulting and training for the entire ANSYS software suite. Our mission is to help clients maximize their utilization of ANSYS software to the highest degree possible. This is a demonstration of the instance support from the major CAD system, Creo Parametric, into ANSYS Mechanical. Uh, a list of uh, CAD tools that have instance support with ANSYS Mechanical are shown here, uh, the major CAD systems, uh, Solid Edge, NX, and so forth, as well as two of the CAD neutral formats uh, support instances as well in ANSYS Mechanical. So for this model here, we have instances of these four bolts. Uh, so one bolt is, uh, is used to represent all four of these here. Same thing with the four nuts on the bottom side. I'm going to transfer this into ANSYS Space Claim and do a little bit of slicing here to uh, make brick meshing. You can see that the colors for the bolts as well as the colors for the nuts are the same. Uh, that's an indication of instances being pulled from Creo Parametric in this case. I'm going to split this real quick to facilitate brick meshing. Get rid of this surface body and make sure to share topology so nodes are shared or coincident across the two bodies of the bottom half of the tank. Go ahead and save this. And then we can go over into ANSYS Workbench. Now by default, uh, with geometry imported from external sources, the import using instances option uh, and the properties of the geometry cell, uh, that is by default checked, so there's nothing we need to do here to pull in instance geometry. Do a simple static structural analysis. Uh, we're only going to mesh in this particular example. Now for instances that are pulled into ANSYS Mechanical, there's a very handy tool to select instances. Uh, for instance, for these bolts, if I want to apply a method to all instances of this particular bolt, I can select only one of those and then use the Extend Selection option here, Extend to Instances. I will select all four bolts and then I can apply a multi-zone mesh control to all four bolts. Instances also work at the face and edge level as well. So if I select these two edges, uh, the top of that bolt, use extend to instances, it selects all of them. And I can add a sizing to that. Do the same thing with the tops of the nuts. And then just to make everything a little finer mesh here. And when I generate the mesh, if you watch the uh, mesh status window, if you were to pause it, what you would see is only one of these bolts is being meshed. And then once that bolt is meshed, it will copy the mesh around to the other instances in the particular model. Same thing occurs with the nuts here. Um, as you can see, the section that I sliced out in space claim is now also brick mesh. So that is a demonstration of instance support inside ANSYS Mechanical from Creo Parametric or a third-party CAD system.